Hi students, I'm Paul Verdicto. In today's class, we are going to see about components of multimedia. Let's begin. In the last class, we saw the five components of multimedia, which are text, graphics, which is also called as images, audio, animation, and video. Whenever you study something relevant to types or categories, you should use quotes to remember it so that you can write it properly during exams. So here I have a code box for you to remember this. Let's check a code box. Ta-da! Here is the code for memorizing components of multimedia. That is tag AV. T for text, A for audio, G for graphics, A for animation, and V for video. First, let's see about text. Text is the basic component of multimedia because everything that you see in a website or a book or everything is mainly made up of text and it is also the commonly used multimedia component. You could see even in advertisements, in tele ads, in everything you'll notice this text. So text is the basic component of multimedia and text is of two types, static text and hypertext. Static text is something similar to the text that you notice in a book. These texts always gives information and it remains constant. Whenever you come across text in a website which always remains constant and which gives only information, then that text is static text. Hypertext, it's a combination of text, notes and links. Here, words will be used as links which has some path. So whenever you click that text, it will redirect you to some other website or web page. So here the text axis will not be always sequential. Here in this example, you can see two pictures. In the first picture, I have a screenshot of a web page which consists of both static and hypertext. Here every word which is in black color is static text because it just gives me information and it always remains constant. But every blue word here is a hypertext because whenever I click on it, it will take me to some other web page. For example, here I am see I have highlighted the microprocessor which is a hypertext and when I clicked on it, I got this, it's redirecting me to microprocessor web page. So this is what hypertext is. It is a link which de redirects you to some other web page. Next we are going to see about images. Images are the important component of multimedia as any information can be conveyed easily using pictures or images. And images are of two types. One is raster or bitmap images. Bitmap image means it is made up of pixels. Every picture and photo that we see is a bitmap image because it is made up of tiny dots called pixels. Based upon the number of pixels, image clarity and image resolution lies. The second type is vector images. Vector images are nothing but drawing objects. In magazines and most of the publishing media, they use vector images as it, it is easy to compress and the quality remains the same even upon compression. Animation. Animation is the process of displaying still images so quickly so that those images will look like moving. Animation is of two types. One is path animation and another one is frame animation. First, let's see about path animation. In path animation, only the object moves and the background remains constant. In this example, we can see the background of the universe and the planet remaining constant and only the satellite revolves around. Only the object satellite moves. This type of animation is called path animation. And the second type of animation is frame animation. Here in this example, we can see the sun moves as well as the background moves. Sun is the object here and even the background of the sun keeps changing. This type of animation is called frame animation. Audio. Audio is the most serious element of multimedia because with audio, information could reach any person in the world. Even small children can understand to a audio. So audio is considered as the serious element of multimedia. Audio is measured using unit of sound decibels. 
Audio is of two types, MIDI and digital audio. M I D I MIDI. It gives the expansion of musical instrument digital identifier. Please remember this: it's instrument and identifier. You may get this in your one marks. So remember, one I for instrument and another I for identifier. So let's see what a MIDI is. MIDI is commonly used for editing the audio of instruments. Any instrument which is connected to a computer or any instrument which is electronic, it could be used with MIDI to compose tunes. So this type of audio is called as MIDI. Next type of audio is digital audio. In digital audio, sound is sampled and saved as quotes. So the clarity of this digital audio will be more. And digital audio can be also used for spoken languages, unlike MIDI audio. MIDI audio is mainly for music, whereas digital audio is used even for spoken languages. Video. Video is a display of recorded information. Video is a powerful way to convey information because with video anybody can understand the content of the given information. And video could be used to demonstrate things easily. Video is of two types. One is analog video. Video which is stored in non-computer media will be called as analog video because everything saved here will be of analog signal nature. For example, all the video tapes that we see and laser discs that we see is a type of analog video. Even analog video is of two types. One is composite analog video and another one is component analog video. Next type is digital video. In digital video, the data will be represented in electronic form as quotes. Since it is represented in quotes, the information will be of high resolution and high quality is promised in digital videos. Example DVD and VCD. These are the five components of multimedia. With this, I'll be signing off. For more classes, listen to the lectures of Paul Verdictor in Hard Drive channel. Thank you.